Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. You know, I'm I'm Rich. Uh, before we start today's video, I just want to get some house cleaning out of the way. Uh, I want to thank everyone that showed us love and support. You know that we needed with that big tropical storm that we had, Issa S. You know, something like that can happen anywhere. So, you know, you just got to make sure your family's okay and just have your mind on the right thing. At that time, you know, the house got hit a little bit bad, but you know what? Family was good, so I'm good. But back to your regular scheduled program. We're gonna get into this plan. So today's video, we're gonna start talking about caladiums. So these caladiums, you guys can remember when we planned them, look how big they got. And look how gorgeous they are. So these ones, I'm gonna start moving them inside. I'm gonna turn them into the house plant but they're at the right size that I wanted them. And if you look, like I said the last video, I had them on the side of my home. They love shady areas. That's how they got so big. Not one of them have any sunburns. You can see, look at the leaf. Not one have any sunburn, it was perfect. You don't wanna keep them in the sun all the time. You wanna to try to keep them in the shade. These things are gonna do you justice. And it got quite a, a tiny bit of fragrance to it, so. We're gonna get these potted in these pot. I already put some powder mix in here. You can see, throw some powder mix in two of them. So I'm gonna take two of them out and throw them in there. I already got one in the pot from the last time. I'm gonna take this inside of the house and make it look pretty, all right? So stay with me and I'll show you how to do that. So the tool we gonna choose today to put in the pot is the rose glow. Look at this beautiful leaf. I just, I love this one. And my daughter really loved this one right here. This is the lemon blush. I believe this is what they call this. I don't know, she fall in love with this one, but I think this one is, is really nice. So we gonna pot these up right now. So you wanna be careful with the roots. So just dig right on the side of it. Just get it out of there. There you go. I don't want to stress the plant out. Pretty easy to transplant it. I'm doing this now because I wanted to get used to this container. So later in the season, meaning when it get a little bit chillier, I'm gonna bring them inside. And that way the roots will be developed perfectly to last through the winter indoors. The reason I choose to do this now is because um, my caladium, the roots, it will compete with each other. And especially when they get to maturity size, I don't want them to compete with each other. I want them to flourish on their own. That's why I choose to move them into their own pot. And like this, they're gonna grow even healthier and stronger. Like this one, if you look closely, look at this one. It had way more leaf shot out because it was by itself. Nothing to compete with. Look at this. Well, if you come back over here, this one is a little different. This one is more fulled out. I think this is the winter frost. I'm not too sure. Winter something. But it's all the, all the way around is fulled out. I just wanted to test that out to see which one, which one of these will come out more fuller and clearly it was the winter frost but this one it still looked lovely but in a, another month or so it should look like that now it's time to take out the lemon blush and the exact same thing we did to the first one we're gonna do to this one when you want to take it out you just want to hold it like you're holding flowers and just get it from the bottom. 
See that? Just pops right out. There's no problem. Straight in to the pot. I already put some plantain in there. So you know what that do. My fertilizer make this thing kick. Just want to put back the soil in there. I'm going to pack this in the middle. that down. Now, these tropical plants, probably said this before, <laughs> they love shades. They love shade. They don't like too much sunlight. You keep them in the shade, they're gonna shine bright for you. And that's what I did. And it turned out pretty well. Look at that. Stuff it down. I got some plantain already in there. Look at that. See? Again, you compare this one, the lemon blush, with the with the winter frost. Look how full out this one is. And this one not even. But give this a month, and I guarantee you guys, it's gonna be full out just like this just like that, when it's by itself, when it's alone. Gorgeous looking. All right guys, I know what you're thinking. You're probably wondering, hey Rich, what are you doing with the next two? The next two, I'm gonna do the same exact thing that I did with the first two. I just have to wait until I can get two pots to pot these up in but until then they're gonna stay right here and they're gonna keep on maturing and then I'm gonna transplant them and prep them for the winter time but you know for for now we're gonna keep them right here they look if you look at them this is the this is the scarlet flame look at this leaf this is just this is gorgeous man I ain't gonna lie to you this is nice and this one is the, the raspberry moon. Look just like a raspberry. This is beautiful. I got some special pots coming and I'm gonna pot these up. I'm gonna have these inside of the home and they're gonna look wonderful. I wanna thank you guys for watching the video today. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you on the next one. I'm out.